Hi everyone, Cindy here with Love to Scrap for Fun. This is my newest uh, project that I have created for my Etsy shop. This is a nine by six by two and a half spine junk journal with three signatures up for sale. Um, the title I have put um, new, Glittered Nouveau Drops um, the clear glitter and there are some black Nouveau drops on here. I sewed some buttons, machine stitched around this vintage, really beautiful title. Um, if you can't tell, um, this features lemons and I've got a splash of red and green in this. And this tassel um, has a lot of coordinating colors with fibers and lace and trim and this is a uh, a beaded um looks like limes and lemons on there and this is a removable tassel fluffy tassel all kinds of fibers um there the front is um some canvas some beige off-white canvas and then I sewed this additional um, piece of fabric that has lemons on it and zigzagged around in red thread. And there's a little slot here for a little pocket for the tag. And I put some beads on some wire with coordinating color beads that look like lemons and and limes and a little splash of red in there and i tied it with some fibers there's the metal eyelet large eyelet there there's some black nouveau drops um i stamped with some words on top of the the collage that i did and you can journal on the back of it it's all machine stitched with the green um, quilting thread. And the inside cover, I've got some yellow cardstock that are the inside of the front and back covers. And it is embossed cardstock. It has little embossed little dots on there. And there is a belly band with holding some vintage beautiful um prints that i printed out i had bought this from my porch prints this lemon kit digital kit and i um backed them up on some cardstock and just added um there's stickles and nouveau drops and um i had this yellow drywall tape that i um, you'll see throughout the the journal that coordinates with it all. And I have a lot of uh, tabs out of different fabrics and ribbon and whatnot. And this belly band's made out of one of the tags from the collection. And I used an embossed folder and added some texture on the tag and just... Uh, inked it um, and added a, some little collage um, cutouts and fabric and a little applique there. And I've got little Tim Holtz mini paper clips that are throughout this journal also. And there are several of the tabs on the pages that are from the kit. And here's the pocket with some ephemera. I have a little index card with like uh, graph paper and I added this little cutout and I added some sparkly stickles to it and some journal card backed on some cardstock I had that was yellow and here's a coffee dyed um, scrap paper that's a weekly mill plan in a shopping list
And I've got this embellished with a 3D sticker. I added some yellow flowers onto the backing of this green um, textured cardstock. And I made it into a flip flop that I had learned how to do on Dear Ju one of Dear Julie Julie's um, instructional videos where it flips out like that and has additional journal pages for you to write on. I have a couple of those in this journal. And a, um, a long tag that's embossed with brick, the brick embossing folder. And plenty of pages for journal spots. Some lined paper and more digital prints from the collection. I've got a little manila um, pocket um, in here that has a little door. This little door is from the My Porch Prints shop. And I added a yellow, on top of a yellow doily, and I added those 3D yellow and white flowers and a little Tim Holtz clip there with ribbon on it. And here is one of the journal cards that I added, uh, sewed on a button and textured it. And more writing pages. These are botanical papers. You could see the, and they're also tea dyed papers. And here's a magazine. Well, it was actually a book that I took these pages out of some, a farm and a barn. It's not really a lemon farm, but hey, and here's some uh, signature ties that I added some hearts and I put little metal eyelets on them. And here's your botanical papers and here's the other pocket made out of a manila envelope journal card with those lovely vintage images that I printed out so lots of stitching throughout and there's some of the yellow drywall tape that I added for texture we all like a lot of texture and layers. Makes it interesting. And there's another little clip. There's a little tuck here with a, with a little tag that I put through the embossing folder. These images, vintage images throughout are really pretty and here's all the pages to journal on here's the yellow cardstock and it's got embossed polka dots on it these lovely papers and here's a little tuck with a tea dyed guest check and a little coin envelope with an embossed tag with machine stitching, metal eyelet. And look at those beautiful images. Those are really awesome. And here's one of those um, layered pocket tags. I've got some little tickets and another little embossed tag that I machine stitched a little ribbon tab on there and added Nouveau drops. And this is machine stitched around here with yellow thread. And I just clipped it up here at the top. But of course you can put it wherever you want to in this journal. Look at those lovely images. Lemons, lemons. And here's another uh, side flip flop with journaling pages on this beautiful two-sided cardstock. And here's a little bag, a little white 
paper sack that I embellished. It has the original writing on the bag and it kind of matched the colors. So I thought that was pretty cool. Here's a little mason jar tag. And I've got a yellow doily on there with the, this cute embellishments. Here's some tea dyed papers and a graph papers and a line paper. And here is a color page is the center of this second signature. And the signature ties have the little um, hearts on them with the metal, yellow metal eyelets on them. Give them a little interest. And here's all your journal page, journaling spots, blank pages, the other side of the other ones, tea dyed papers. Here's the other side of the little paper sack that I embellished has some of that yellow drywall tape and I fussy cut the uh, mason jar and added Nuvo drops and some ribbon right there and put a journal tag in there and sewed this with red thread and added a, a ribbon at the top, sewed the ribbon on the top. And this is, uh, um, oh, what is this? This checkered paper that it's like restaurant paper. And I added this cutout. I had um, added texture to it with some red machine stitching. Some more. Here's the pocket. Some journal cards. This is a cool postcard. Some Nouveau drops there. And I added a fabric applique on this pocket with some coordinating ribbon underneath and some more yellow drywall tape underneath the little word, be happy. And here's a, a layered pocket, a little tag. I added some stickles, sparkle stickles, and some black Nouveau drops sewed around with green thread, and it's got a metal eyelet with some fiber on it, and some tickets that came with the kit, and I've got coffee dyed re couple receipts there. They look super old, antique, <laughs> and here is some a library card, a uh, library, um, yeah, whatever you call it, that goes in a library pocket, but it's a tag. And this is an avocado dyed um, index card and a copy dyed guest check for all your journaling that you want to do, or you can add photos to them. And I added a, some more fabric applique on there with Fabri-Tac glue, so it stays on there really good. And there's some more tea dyed papers. This has a little bit of green in it right there, and here's another layered pocket. This is a little notebook from the kit that you make. It's got four pa pages of lined paper. And I machine stitched across the top with some red thread. Here's some more tickets. I added some, some glitter um, stickles to it. So it's sparkly, sparkle, sparkly. And here's a, a coin envelope with, from the kit that has, I embossed the tag and added a green little eyelet there. some stitching and inked the edges. And I added a little fabric applique there and some more yellow drywall tape with some words, lemon. And here's a side pocket that has just a nice little big 
cardstock with a tab on it. You could use for photos or journaling. And here's a pocket here on that that has um, a journal postcard with a pretty photo from the kit. These are all from the kit. Lots of goodies in this journal. It's packed. And I adhered some ribbon, machine stitching, and I backed this on a little bit of chipboard so it it sticks up a little bit. It's kind of 3D. And here are some coin envelope pockets that are adhered to this copy dyed cardstock with some tags that are machine stitched. There's some Nouveau drops on here and some of those sparkly stickles and some yellow drywall tape. And these tags, all the tags in this album have little metal eyelets. And I've got some ledger papers and some lined, there's like four lined papers. And this is some cardstock, and I added a little mini Tim Holtz clip with a ribbon, and I added some trim on the side, another appli fabric applique on top of some yellow ribbon, and there's more yellow drywall tape, and this little um, accent that I fussy cut out, I did do the sparkly stickles on that, so it's so pretty and here is some tags and this is a, a three layer pocket tag you can add stuff in there nice so this little yellow big button on there and I put this through a texture plate it's kind of cool and here's some more cool pockets in this scrapbook paper and I um, put some of the the canvas uh, fabric underneath this and added some layers of um, drywall tape and the word there and here is a little mini notebook that is uh, I tied it in there and put a button on there and I added the stickles and the Nouveau drops and here's a 3d title here with with a little thing that says notes I I did that on my dino maker where you make the words the label maker that's what I want to say and here is a little pocket on inside the cover with a little tag and a index card and just some papers and there's a coffee dyed statement and some scrapbook paper that is machine stitched and here's some scraps of lined paper that you could write on and some plain paper and an index card and here's a um, one of those crossword puzzles from an old crossword puzzle book and some scraps of paper and some more scrap two-sided scrapbook paper i added the drywall tape and a little applique there and a word in the middle and that is the middle of the signature because those are the threads there and then then this is half is the other side of that And I, there's a little pocket here with some tickets. And the other side of the coffee dyed statement, scrap of paper. It's all machine stitched around. And the middle of this third signature has a color page. And there's the accented signature ties. And this has a pocket. Again, this title is um, backed on some canvas fabric and there's some 
drywall tape and some more uh, fabric lace and a little um, embellishment there and a journal card and um, another journal card vintage journal card here's a cool envelope from the kit and I added a coffee dyed statement in there that you can do any kind of journaling on or use the envelope for whatever you want and there's another tab and this pocket is backed on some of that um, tissue paper, check tissue paper and some drywall tape and word. And here is a textured tag, machine stitched around and I sewed a button. Here's another envelope, envelope, envelope. And I edged, um, inked all of this with brown ink and here is another coffee dyed statement folded in half it fits just perfect in there i can't give you an envelope that's empty by all means who wants an empty envelope and here's a little mini tim holtz clip with one of those long tags and i textured that with brick embossing folder and machine stitched around the perimeters. This has a large uh, metal eyelet on it. Here's some journaling pages with some lines, columns, ledger paper. And here is a big door that it's also from another kit from My Porch Prints that has all the doors and stuff. And I thought this was pretty because only this side opens though because this one has a potted 3D plant. And there's a cute little bird with a yellow belly. It's cute. And this is the other side of that envelope that I made a pocket. These are three layered um, tags that have the pockets and there's an embellished um, tag there that has stickles and Nouveau drops and a metal Eyelet and some more embellished t um, tickets that I put some sparkly stickles on. Here's a tag, and it's got a little yellow eyelet on there, and a little machine stitching. And the other one just has some more embellished tag or tickets and a pretty little tag with a sketch of a lemon tree. And I just put them in there like that. And here's some more coffee dyed papers with a little bit of green in them. And the last page, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. There is Oh, there's a bonus here. Not only is there, of course, a tie that goes around it that I machine stitched for added accent, but whoever buys this, your bonus gift is this little file folder. And this file folder is created out of a yellow file um, manila folder that I cut down. It's got a cute little gnome with some lemons on his hat. And I added the sparkly stickles and some Nouveau drops. And here's a little fabric piece right there. And it's stitched with a green um, machine thread. And here is a little paper accent, a pocket. And here's a little pocket another paper with lemon design on it index card and some old address these are from an address book and cardstock with a embellishment little pocket here with a 
um, little note uh, paper and graph paper and a pretty little yellow doily and this has some little tickets and just for your extra added journaling and the back has a mason jar cut out and then there's just some extra little paper there but that will be your gift whoever buys this thank you so much for watching and i will put the link to my etsy shop down below in the description thank you so much bye bye